Hi, my name is Georgie Grace Butler. I'm a dancer with Atlanta Ballet 2. And today I'm going to show you how to do the bun that I do every day, which is a bun with two twists into a high bun. Um, I use a brush. I use a slick brush. I use hairspray, water, because my hair is really thin, pins, and two hair ties. So to start, I'm going to section my hair into two pieces to make the twists. So I find a line on my head, and I use my brush to separate those piece, that piece, and then I find the same line on the other side. And separate it. Then I take the rest of the hair and I put it into a ponytail. And this is where my smoothie brush comes in handy because sometimes when you have thin hair, it likes to get really bumpy, especially in the back. Okay, so then I put that in a ponytail with my first elastic. Just like that. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the twists for the right or the left side and I brush it out to get all the bumps out of it and you can usually do there's kind of two ways to do the twist you can do them a little bit tighter but I like to do them a little bit looser so it carries the line back to the bun a little bit smoother than if it was super tight so I brush it out and I take it like this and I twist and I kind of twist upwards towards the ponytail line so that it's cohesive. So once you twist it like this, I hold my finger down to hold it in place and I grab two small bobby pins and I pin them in an X to hold the twist in place. And it's okay if they're not super, super secure because we're going to end up putting a ponytail holder over them anyway. So that's the first side. So now you're going to repeat it on the other side. So you take your brush and you brush through. And this is where I use some hairspray to get the wispies. So I spray the twist, just one little spray, to kind of collect the hair a little bit better. And then you twist. And if you have any funny parts like that, you just you can brush it up to make it smooth. So I repeat the same thing I did on that side, which is I put two pins and a little X like that. So that's what it'll look from the back. And those are both sides. So now, to sometimes when you start doing your bun, um, because it's only pinned, the twist will come out of place if you don't use a second elastic. So that's why I like to use a second elastic. So I take all the hair all together and I try to put the second elastic above the first one. So when you take the first one out, it's a little bit easier because they can get tangled. So take the second one and do it nice and tight above this first one, like so. Then I pull the first one right out. And I like to leave the pins in there just to extra support and keep them in place, but um, they won't go anywhere now because you put a hair tie. So now I do the actual bun part, which I have, like I said, thin hair. So especially if your hair is clean, you might want to use water hairspray to make it easier for the bun to stay and not get a lot of wispies. So I'm going to spray my bun with water kind of get the ponytail wet, especially the ends where it likes to come out. And then I'll take my hair and I twist it like I would to make the bun. And then what I do to get the shape of the bun that I like is I'll twist it around till it makes 
the original bun shape, and then the extra, I'll tuck underneath the first bun shape, and then you kind of pull this way to tuck that hair flat underneath. So to show you again, you twist it like this, then you make the first bun, then you take the excess, you lift up the first bun, and you put it underneath, and then you pull to loosen it out so that that hair sits flat underneath the original bun. And then you just pin. And when I pin my pins, I like to go down and then in, instead of just in because it catches a little bit more hair and it's, um, it, they, it, it holds the bun a little bit better. So you just do that all around. And then obviously you're gonna have some little wispies and what I do with my wispies, like for example, this one that's sticking out, you take it and you pull it into the line of the bun and then you open your pin like this. Oh, I can't see. You take your pin and you open it like this. And then I use it as a little, I open it and pin that piece right back in. So just continuing to pin to secure the bun and make sure it's not, you know, it's rather flat and not sticking up the back of your head. And then once your bun is secure with all your wispies, what I like to do is I take some hairspray and I spray where it's a little wispy and I comb it back with a brush and you can do that on both sides. Especially sometimes underneath the twist, it gets a little wispy. And then for the back wispies, I'll take them and I pull them all together. And then a little trick that I do to keep my wispies in the back is I open the pin the same way and I put the pin, instead of going across and then them falling down like this, I will take the pin and I'll open it and you collect all the wispies and you pull them upwards and then you put the pin right up so that it kind of collects the hair. And then I do it, I always do it twice because the wispies in the back are usually long so that it's collected. Or if you don't like that, you can do one going upwards and then one going across to, care, to keep those wispies up. And then always if you're doing a performance and you don't want to have multiple pins and you're trying to keep your bun sleeker, cleaner, then you can always use your hairspray and spray your wispies in the back and then use the brush um, to collect it. So if you want to do that to kind of keep a lack of pins, because sometimes they're very obvious, you take your hair, you spray it, and then kind of spray and brush them up so they're all brushed up. And then usually you have like these funny pieces at the top. And that's when you can pin them. So I would pin them like this, or you can also pin them together like this. And obviously anywhere you have bumps, anywhere that you have pieces that you don't like, you can always use hairspray, smooth it out with a brush or add pins. But this is what it looks like from the side, this side. This is what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from this side. And I like to do this bun because it's a little bit different than a regular high bun, but it's still a high bun and it frames your face a little better 